everybody. Welcome back to my channel. I'm your host, Steve Ricardo. What's shaking out there in YouTube land? Surprise, surprise, we're here. We made it 2021. This is the first episode of Kenneth Frank. This is awesome. So excited. Uh, new year, fresh new stuff. Let's see what's going to happen and cross our fingers and we're going to be on this killer ride, right? Well, let's hope so. Anyway, uh, for all my new subscribers, remember to hit the like button and the subscribe button and uh, hit the bell too so you'll be up to date on everything that I'm doing. You can keep track of what's happening and uh, we're going to review as much gear and have as much fun as we possibly can this year. Absolutely. Cool. So my fine feathered friends at Long and McQuaid and Abbotsford have hooked me up with the Jim Root Telecaster. Look at this thing. This is cool. Very cool. A little bit reminiscent to the John 5, but uh, you know what? It's got a different shape to it. It's got some cool contours to it and a bunch of other cool features. Let's get into it. So it is a mahogany, mahogany body. Absolutely. It's pretty light. Not too much weight. Probably about, I don't know, four or five pounds maybe. Kind of like that. Uh, a maple neck C-shaped, of course. Uh, 22 fret laurel. Absolutely. And a 12-inch radius. Uh, dual passive pickups on this bad boy. Uh, string through the body. Bada bing. And uh, Telecaster Bridge. Black hardware. Of course, the white um, pick guard's pretty cool. Uh, the finish, they call it a polyester matte black, which picks up fingerprints like there's no tomorrow. But it's metal, right? Who cares? You want fingerprints, you want blood, you want sweat, you want alcohol all over this thing. So, well, and that's if you're just playing it at home. So, anyway, uh, synthetic bone on the nut, um, black hardware on the tuners, and uh, yeah, one volume, and one, two, three, pull position on your selector switch. Uh, six saddle, um, six saddle standard strings. Um, I'm, I'm assuming you put heavier strings on his gauge, uh, on this puppy, so it shouldn't be a problem. The neck is not bad, it's got a nice feel to it. It's got your signature gem uh, root on the back of that thing. I can zoom in there, there you go, look at that. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Um, what else? Scale 25 and a half inch. Fingerboard is Indian Laurel. So, again, back to that, right? What else can I tell you? Other than it's uh, it's pretty cool. So I do like it. It's got a nice, uh, like I said, it's pretty reminiscent to the John 5, except the finish is a bit different. And, you know, but it's, it's again, we got metal playing a telly, which is awesome. Uh, definitely setting up the standard on how things have changed over the years. You know, it's just usually it's going to be a Jackson or a BC Rich or, you know, Les Paul kind of stuff. But, no, the Fenders are doing really good, and they've done a great job with some of their stuff. The truss rod is still adjustable in the front, as per all the tellies. So, um... Six ninety nine. If you're in Canada, uh, check out the website and everything else, and uh, you'll be able to order online or drop by your uh, Abbotsford Long McQuaid. This is where this puppy will be sitting. So, absolutely. So, why don't we cut into it a little bit and see what this thing can do? <laughs> So, I'm at the uh, bridge. Got a nice feel, like I said. So, on uh, today, we're gonna try something different. We're gonna run this guitar 
put on some back tracks. Yeah, and then we get the true feeling of the metal of Jim Root coming out on this thing, right? All right, let's add some backing tracks and let's thrash to it. Well, there you have it. Um, makes a big difference with some drums in the background, right? So you get a better understanding of how this thing sounds. Uh, I'm running just through my EVH with the normal distortion and uh, a little bit of a noise hush. That's it. So this is cool. I like it. Um, what else can I tell you about it? Head over to your Long McQuaid to check one out in person to see if you like it. Um, yeah, it's got my vote for Jim Root. It's a uh, pretty damn skippy guitar. It's nice and heavy. So, Thanks for watching. I have been Steve. You have been great. Catch you next time on the next review. Stay metal! That's right. Cheers!